Hey everybody, so I'll provide you guys a quick little update on this computer here. This is the Retro Sleeper HP system. It's a system I threw together last year in a uh, 2000 era HP Pavilion tower. What I did is I took a mini ITX HP desktop board and uh, installed it into this thing. It has a uh, I think it's socket 1155 Intel Sauron Sandy Bridge CPU. It's a little 35 watt TDP processor with an iGPU. It's got 4 gigs of memory. It's got a little 80 gigabyte SATA hard drive in it. Nothing spectacular by any means. Pretty low end, but uh, definitely much more powerful than the original. Pro I want to say probably a 500 megahertz Sauron that was in this <laughs> computer from 2000. Um, you see it running there and just for size comparison there is the black system from some recent videos that's a mid tower size case there with the bottom mount PSU got the radiator and stuff in the back because it's water cooled but uh, it's got the uh, FX8120 in it so this machine here it's going to be getting used to fill in for my late grandpa's computer. Um, still have to have a computer over there for some basic stuff. It's actually uh, going to be used offline for like like checking cameras and things like that. Uh, erasing SD cards, that good stuff. Real basic stuff. And because, if, because it's going to be offline, we're putting Windows 7 on the thing. Yeah. I mean... Who cares if Windows 7 doesn't have support anymore? It's going to be offline. And honestly, Windows 7... I'm going to say Windows 7 was one of the last good versions of Windows. I mean, it's the simple fact that Windows 7 is so sleek and lightweight. Um, you don't have to go in and turn off a bunch of crap about the uh, telemetry. and You don't have Windows Update Force and updates down your throat. You don't have to go in and change a bunch of things to fix things like you have to do in Windows 10, Windows 11. So I figured, why not? Why not the Windows 7 on this thing? And I figured, since I got a little video going here, let me show you how easy it is to uh, set up a computer with Windows 7. And of course, the Windows 7 OOB. actually ask you important questions like what do you want to name your PC or of course it asks you about Windows Update but here's the big one what time zone are you in and what is the current date and time no advertising ID questions no uh, Cortana bullcrap, none of that. Just the stuff that actually matters. Tell you what, guys, I remember back when Windows 7 was first coming out. Um, <clears throat> I was, of course, getting a playroom with the release candidate. And, I mean, Windows Vista, of course, had its issues, but. By the time Vista Search Pack 2 was out, Vista was pretty decent. But having Windows 7 come out with its new features, it was like a breath of fresh air. And things certainly felt high for Windows and the PC as we know it. And then the disaster of Windows 8 came along in 2012. And back then I thought the PC was, was doomed. But then we had Windows 10 and Windows 11, which were a little bit better. But still, I like Windows 7. Windows 7 was a great OS. Um, it was the, it was the best thing after Windows XP in my opinion, and of course we're probably going to be missing some drivers. But yeah, anyway, uh, let's see here. No connections are available. Probably missing an Ethernet driver. How much you'll bet? Oh yeah, of course. But um. Yeah, Windows 7. So simple. I mean, probably the only thing that ain't simple about it is having to go fetch drivers, but, but hey. <laughs> it's 
still, I mean, I think I made a video a little while back talking about how Microsoft Windows used to be like pro user, and I'll I'll put a link up in the corner as a card if you want to go watch that. But yeah, so the Sleeper HP, it's gonna be getting used to fill in for my late grandpa's computer, which is down on the floor. Um, I cleaned that system out recently, and I noticed that the Northbridge heatsink retention bracket broke. And I hadn't even tried to I hadn't even tried to run that system because of that, but I was told by my mom that the thing didn't want to start for her. So who knows? Um, at least I have a machine for her to use offline for basic stuff. So yeah, the one to seven on the. Retro Sleeper HP. So this system will be getting a use for now. Okay, so here's a quick look at things after getting some drivers installed, particularly the chipset drivers and the graphics drivers. So you can see now we have the more familiar looking Windows 7 interface with Arrow. So this system is good to go. I mean, it's not getting used on the internet, so <clears throat> I mean, why not go with something simple? So anyways, that wraps up for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that wraps up for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also, I recommend following Q Career Company on Facebook a link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.